Okay, now we are set up. So if we go here into your phone, just bring your notifications here, bring it one more down and here I have link to Windows. I have set up this already everything. So if you didn't set it up, well then set it up. Let's turn it on and my PC should. Also, you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. If you're not, then this will not work. It will connect, but it will not work. Let's press here try again and it should connect to my phone. It did connect it. You see here all the apps appeared. So let's go into apps and if we go here at the bottom, you see I'm connected to my Wi-Fi connection and also through my cable. If I disconnect my Wi-Fi, let's disconnect it and I'll try to open Aliexpress because it's the first app. You see it's trying to connect to your phone, but nothing really happens. If I cancel it, let's disconnect link to Windows. It should disappear from here. Let's connect it again, connecting to your phone. Nothing really happens. It disconnected. Let's connect it again. You see, I'm still disconnected from my Wi-Fi. Let's try again. It will connect to your phone, but when you try to open the apps, well, it will not work. So take in mind, you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. You see, it takes so much time and then it says connect to the same Wi-Fi. Now let's go and connect to the same Wi-Fi. It connected. Let's try again. And voila, it did work. You see, I press on Aliexpress and it opened Aliexpress. Actually, my webcam is covering it. Now let's press on Amper and it will open Amper. Now, if I close everything, I'm gonna have the window just there. I'll have to close it. So what this uses is just, you see here at the top, open phone screen. This just uses mirroring. Because if I press open phone screen, then well, here is the same window. If I press here, um, let's go Amazon shopping, it opens that, but if I close the app, then I'm just staying with a phone screen, with mirroring. I think this option should work also on other devices because isn't anything special, it's just mirroring. But the cool thing is, and that's why I'm recording with the camera, is you see here what happens with my phone when, you, when using this option. You see, I closed it and now the phone went completely dark. Let's actually unlock it. Now it's unlocked. When opening an app, Let's press this app, then the phone goes fully dark. So you don't really see the app on the device as well. But if I swipe up, then the app is there. The function is just mirroring what's on your phone. But what's cool is your phone screen goes dark. So you don't really see it, you see? The phone screen goes dark, so you don't really have it doubled. But of course, if you unlock it, then it's doubled. If, if, and if I go to home screen, then you saw on PC, it went to home screen as well. If I swipe, then it's just my ring, which don't take me wrong. I think this is cool. And I'm going to use it a lot because you see my phone is not connected to any cable. So it's awesome that this works without cable because always trying to connect your cable to just use this option will be really dumb. So this is more or less, guys. It's nothing wow, but... Um, some videos on internet didn't really show what's happening on the phone when using this option. So I hope I was quite clear, but this is how it works. It's nothing special, but it's a neat feature. And with this option right now, then I guess more people are gonna use your phone app because previously here, instead of apps, you had open phone screen, like it was here. Open phone, sc phone sc It's the same as opening phone screen, or actually unlock it and then uh, go and open Aliexpress. This is doing the same, it's just with fewer steps. But anyway, I hope you got the idea, guys. I hope this video was useful for you and I hope that Microsoft brings this feature to more phones and not only Samsung phones. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Till the next one.